Asia Pacific is a large area to cover as a rum region, but distillers are spread out. Here you'll find the origins of the sugarcane plant, sugar production and pre-Caribbean colonists. It's time to unravel some mysteries, so let's dive in. Hello, Hendo here and welcome to Rum Region Deep Dive Asia Pacific. In this video we will explore rum making where sugarcane originated. Asia Pacific has some of the largest producers and consumers of rum in the world like India and the Philippines but still seen by many as emerging. I've worked extensively across Asia in the drinks industry and brown spirits are very popular especially whiskey and cognac but rum is on the rise and many perhaps don't even realise that they're drinking rum. Asia's vibrant cocktail bar scene uh, in mojitos and daiquiris. Here's what I'll cover. Origins, the subcontinent, East Asia, Southeast Asia and Oceania. Starting with origins, sugarcane cultivation goes back to 6000 BC in New Guinea, Indonesia, spreading across Asia. Sugar granules were first produced in northern India sometime after the first century. Persians and Arabians mastered distillation as did the Chinese. Ayurvedic records of rum production as early as the 7th century in India. An early rum-like drink was brum, produced by the Malay people. Early 14th century, Marco Polo described it as a very good wine of sugar. Today, India is the largest sugar-producing country in the world, and rum-making is linked to that. So let's begin our tour in the subcontinent, India. In 1855, Scotsman Edward Dyer set up a brewery in Himachal Pradesh, making beer for the British. The brewery then changed hands and became a distillery. The former managing director created Old Monk Rum, launched in 1954, a dark rum. Although it dominated the market for a long time, McDowell's number one celebration has taken over. Uh, produced in, from 1991, owned by United Distillers, going back to 1826 in India by Angus McDowell, another Scot. There's Amrut Distillers, Old Port Rum and Two Indies Rum, Madeira Rum and Contessa Rum, operating since 1943. Indian Volume Rum is produced by industrial sugar and chemical companies. Indian Made Foreign Liquor, or IMFL for short. Almost all spirit is made from molasses and turned into local entry-level whiskey rum and brandy brands. Uh, presented at 42.8%. India also has a moonshine alcohol made from sugarcane called Thara and it's produced everywhere. India has made stronger dark rum, uh, navy style rum because of the history with the British but now you're starting to see rum diversify. Wild Tiger is a spice rum made in Kerala, South India and Goa you have Makazai still distilling spirits, makes white and gold craft rum, the Segredo Aldea rum from Fulton Distillers Five Rivers Rum is made with sugarcane grown in Punjab, distilled in England with spices, claiming to be the world's first dry Indian spice rum, but expect more artisan rums coming out of India. Now to Nepal has Kukri Rum, a dark rum launched in 1959, produced in Kathmandu. Bengal rum was exported to Australia, made from molasses but often not cane sugar, but palm sugar. Strong trade from Calcutta to Australia in the 19th century. In Colombo, Sri Lanka, Rockland Distillers, uh, founded on a family estate in 1924, makes a rack white and dark red rum. Now to East Asia, Japan, Ryoma rum is made at Kikusui Distillery on Shikoku Island, oldest sugarcane farm in Japan. Rub the rum between your hands and you smell fresh bread. Ogasawara molasses based rum goes back to the late 19th century. Nine Leaves Distillery makes rum east of Kyoto. Helos Distillery in Okinawan from 1961 produces rum agricole style made from local Okinawan sugarcane. Also there is Tokyo Nights Rum copper pot still from local sugarcane molasses. Moving to Taiwan is a history of rum making since high volume sugarcane production in Japanese colonial times. It's 1895 to 1945, the famous sugar railways. Taiwan Tobacco and Liquor Corporation, TTL, was a monopoly. 
Now, made from local molasses, Formosa rum is named after a Portuguese a nickname meaning beautiful island when they landed in 1542. From 2017, Renaissance Distillery is making French influenced rum and leading the artisanal revival in Taiwan. Moving to Southeast Asia, let's start in Indonesia, grown sugar cane in volcanic rich soils. Uh, for thousands of years, a long history of distilling Iraq with local molasses and fermented rice developed by Chinese workers using their stills that they brought from China 15th century, aged in teak wood vats. Indonesia was colonised by the Dutch and Portuguese Dutch East Indies 1800 until the mid 20th century. Batavia, the name for Jakarta, Batavia Iraq comes only from the island of Java and Iraq was first brought to Sweden from Java in 1733 used in Swedish punch drinks. The famous cocktail book Jerry Thomas Bartender's Guide 1862 calls for old Batavia Iraq in punch recipes. Naga rum is the main rum brand from there today. Despite a rich distilling heritage, it's hard to find any details. Uh, Indonesia has strict religious laws on alcohol. In Singapore, you have Compendium Spirits makes craft rum, but Singapore is more known for its world-class cocktail scene, the bartenders, the cocktail bar, some of the best in the world, and uh, drinking rum. Now, Malaysia, the famous jungle bird cocktail using rum, was invented in Kuala Lumpur, a uh, tiki drink created in Hilton Avery Bar, 1970s, made of rum, sugar, lime juice, pineapple juice and Campari. Now to Thailand, Sang Sol is a famous local rum distilled from sugar cane, first introduced 1977, sells about 17 million litres, just west of Bangkok. Chai Long Bay in Phuket is 100% sugar cane juice, spirit and copper pot stills ported from France. A San Rum Agricole style from North East Thailand. Vietnam French Rum Agricole style, Rum Bellamy in Ho Chi Minh City, starting distilling in 2016. Sam Pan Rum, 2018, uses locally sourced pure yellow sugar cane. Cambodia's first and only rum producer is called Samai Distillery, founded 2014 by three South Americans, making molasses rum. Moving to the Philippines, Spain colonised the Philippines from 1565, 1898. Then it became a US territory. The Philippines, you've got Tandaway, the world's top selling rum brand, and Don Papa rum. Don Papa is named after the leader of the Philippine Revolution during the 1890s. Sugar Landa, as it's called locally. Although sweetened and French government label it as Rum Vanille, the brand has helped premiumize Philippines rum. Tandaway in Manila has origins going back to 1854. Tandaway Silver and gold are a blend of aged molasses rum up to five and seven years in ex-bourbon casks respectively. Now to Oceania, Papua New Guinea, origins of the sugarcane plant. There's a hard to find Ramu rum from the Ramu Valley. Now rum arrived in Australia with the first colony 1788. Jamaica rum was highly prized, but most imports were Bengal rum. Sydney's illicit rum trade came to a head with the Rum Rebellion of 1808. Governor William Bly of the Mutiny on the Bounty fame. Rum was used as currency and he wanted to stamp out illicit trade and stills. Rum fueled the Navy and rum rations. The first legal rum distillery opened in Sydney 1824. Sydney had a rum hospital. The first hospital built after colonisation paid by 45,000 gallons of rum. Today, Australia has a staggering 333 distilleries from about 120 in 2014. Many make rum now. Beanley rum is one of Australia's oldest, going back to 1884, fermented from Queensland molasses. Bundaberg rum, Queensland, Bundy from 1888, making rum was a solution to molasses waste from local sugar mills. Closed a couple of times because of fires, bought by Diageo in 2014, offers a wide selection, including master distillers collection. A hoochery distillery is a farm distiller in Western Australia from 1995 using a local sugar cane and hand-built pot still or river over proof rum. 
Kimberley Rum Company makes small batch and cane fire at Swan Valley Great Northern Distillery in Western Australia. It's got a group of distillers there. Illegal Tender Rum won at this year's World Rum Awards. Hus Distillery, a single estate distillery pioneering Australia's only virgin cane rum, northern New South Wales near the Gold Coast. Holy Dollar Rum sources hand-cut sugar cane from Fiji and Pot Distillery. They are planning to build a distillery with Sunshine Sugar in New South Wales. Bricks Distillers Urban Distillery in Surrey Hills, Sydney is making Aussie rum. First barrel release is due sometime this year. New Norfolk Distillery in Tasmania is back making rum after 180 years. Lark Distillery makes Quiet Canyon rum. New Zealand hasn't so many. Uh, Grenada Bay just north of Wellington and so is 42 Below which makes a Tahiti dark rum and stolen rum uh, uses Trinidadian rum for its brand. Next is Fiji. Fiji was a British colony 1874 and a sugar economy ever since. Lutoka is a second city nicknamed Sugar City, the largest sugar mill in the southern hemisphere and home to South Pacific Distillery, Rum Co of Fiji makes Ratu and Bati rums plus bulk for independent bottlers. It's molasses rum but funky character using whiskey pot stills from Dunedin, New Zealand. We round off the tour in Tahiti in the French Polynesia. Claims to be one of the world's oldest rum distilling traditions dating back as far as 300 AD and the inspiration of tiki culture born from 1930s travel in Polynesia and now tiki revival in bars around the world. You could say rum's right hand. Tahiti, French colony from 1880, you'll find sugar cane juice spirit agricole, manu tea and mani o rum on the island of Tahi Ha and Pari Pari distillery makes tea rums many expressions. South Seas Rum is from Tonga's capital, established in 1997. As a footnote, Hawaii is an American state, but also in the Pacific Ocean. Uh, Kalulu Rum uh, Company makes sugar cane juice spirit. Sugar cane came to Hawaii by ancient migrating Polynesian voyagers. Sugar mills set up in early 1800s and dominated Hawaii's economy for a century. Now, dark rum and spice rums are flying really high just now, but watch the rise of premium and artisan rums here. Australia's distilled spirits tax, third highest in the world, is making their craft rum feel quite expensive. So now we know a little bit more about Asia Pacific's deep roots in rum. So tell us what you think of rum from Asia Pacific. Any favourites amongst them? Uh, pop them in the comments. Watch my other videos on the regions of rum in the series. If you're interested in projects, contact us at hendotalks.com. As always, welcome your feedback. I hope this was useful to you in some way. And until next time, thanks very much for watching.